blessed morning afternoon or evening everyone how are you doing like i always say this is indeed a beautiful day that the lord has made we must always rejoice and be glad in it no matter what we face no matter the storm god never leaves his children he is emmanuel okay he's always with us we just have to continue to trust him i wanted to come up here by god's grace to encourage us this morning Isaiah 41 verse 10. It's a popular scripture that we know. Even though we know it, but do we believe in it? Have we become too familiar with the word of God? That when we need it the most, it's it seems as if it's not working for us because of the familiarity. Now we just we just recite it, we cram it, but what is the power in the word that we're supposed to daily walk in? May God have mercy on us in Jesus' name. Fear not. For I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. Yes, I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Yes, it is the 15th day of December 2022. So what? That goal, you're yet to accomplish it. Who told you the God of the 11th hour does not show up for his children? Or is it that? The time that you wanted that thing to happen was not God's timing. It is important for us that no matter what we aspire or desire to do, no matter what we pursue, that it is in alignment with the will of God, that God is indeed, God's hand is indeed in it. And we have to weigh our every decisions with the word of God. But if God has promised you something, wait. They that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not weary. They shall walk and not faint. Hold on to God. It is not the last day yet. If God has promised you, he is faithful to fulfill it. The only way that God's promises does not manifest, manifest in our lives is because we are falling out of the narrow way. We have gone into the wider way. We have missed the step. But we know God is a God of principle and order. He honors his words more than his name. So if God has said, I will do it, wait. Oh, believe me, wait on the Lord. When he said he would do something, wait, wait, wait patiently on the Lord. See, patience is a virtue, a virtue that as children of God, we must have. So may God continue to help us. So I'm just here to encourage us today. Wait on the Lord. Wait on the Lord. Align in God's will and God's timing. Matthew 6, 33. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Wait. Brother, wait. Sister, wait. Church, let's wait on the Lord. May God bless us, continue to keep us. May his face continue to shine upon us in Jesus' name. Amen.